What's up guys, it's been a minute since I've seen you. So today's gonna be a vlog. We are gonna be doing a uh, comic book video because there is a lot of comic books that I wanna pick up and if you guys watch my comic book haul, there's been a few comics that I, you know, growing up I got a lot of stuff um, misplaced or I guess you can say lost. Um, since you know I was a kid, uh, a lot of vintage action figures and a lot of comic books. I collected comic books since I was a kid. But we go to Fat Collectibles and we're going to pick up some back issues of comics that I'm looking forward to picking up again. Some stuff that I picked up here too, let me show you. I ended up picking up the uh, 4K Ultra HD of Logan. I did like this movie a lot. Now, and it comes with the black and white uh, version of the film, which I'm anxious to watch. Um, to be honest with you... When I went to Target to go pick this up, it was this was the only one available. I went yesterday, which was Friday. This movie came out on Tuesday. I was in no rush to get the Steelbook. I didn't have the need to pick up the Steelbook or any exclusives of this movie. But uh, yeah, so I got this one because I did like this movie a lot. So I got Logan, and I ended up picking up this guy right here. They had a lot of figures from the DC Multiverse lines, and I'm a big fan of the Dark Knight Returns, and I love this version of the Joker, because, you know, a lot of the Jokers that came out from DC Collectibles of this guy, they didn't have this different face, you know what I mean? They always had, like, a, a serious-looking face of the Joker, and it's cool to get an alternate head, and, um, you know, this is obviously the King Shark Wave, which is cool. They, they had the Flash, they had the Jim Gordon Batman and Hawkman, but I'm in no... You know, I didn't feel like I need to get these, especially since I have the Jim Gordon Batman and the DC Collectibles version. But yeah, so this is really cool that I got to pick this up. Shoes, too, in case you guys are, you know, you guys know my shoe game. I don't, I'm not really a sneakerhead, but I do like my NMDs and some comics. This, is, this isn't all my shoes. This is just some of them that I wear on a regular basis. I ended up picking up some basic Vans. So, uh, I like these ones a lot. And then I um, haven't worn them yet. And I ended up getting these, actually, because I'm big. I've always been into Adidas, and now that the hype's crazy on them you know i ended up picking up the stan winston's i've never owned these pairs right here these are actually really nice and really comfortable so you can see they're just pretty much just all white and these are like the, the like the red versions right here so the stan winston ones i do want to pick up the blue ones also and the blacks but i think these are clean and then jay show him jay jay's got some tubulars i think i've mentioned this before he's got these and he's got the all like i think black gray ones right yeah so and then i have the the tan and ones. Shoes. What's up? I have tie shoes. Yeah, he knows how to tie his shoes now. And he just graduated from school, huh, Jay? Uh -huh, I'm done with kinder. I'm in first grade. He's going to go to first grade now. So, mm -hmm. congratulations to I, him. I, am I off for a week? No, you're off for like two months, I think. Oh my god, so many times. <laughs> but yeah, so, back collectibles is we're going to go to pick up some back issues. And we'll see what else, you know, they have there. But these are some of the pickups that I've picked up recently. It's a little late. I got like 40 minutes or like less than that. Now like 40 minutes to go to the comic shop. In reality, by the time I get there, I'm probably going to only have, I think like 30 minutes. So we're going to go to Fat Collectibles, pick up some back issues that I want to get. So my goal, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this in my, in my uh, comic book haul video, that I would like to pick up a lot of first prints. Um, I totally forgot I had the first issue of Bane. Like I didn't even know I had the first issue of Bane. And I want to get, I used to have the first appearance of Carnage, I used to have the first appearance of Venom, but those comics are long gone. And one I never owned that I do want to pick up is Gambit's first issue. It is sunny right now, as you guys can see. So we're going to go pick up some back issues. Nothing, nothing big right now. Nothing big. Just, just minor back issues on my phone, on my, on my uh, phone list. I made some, some um, uh, notes on comic book back issues that I want to get. So that's gonna be the plan right now. I was stuck at the barbecue right here and I was with Jacob. Um, he's still here playing right now with the kids. But um, yeah, so that's gonna be the plan right now. I'm gonna go do that and we'll see if we can find anything in there. I don't know how much I'm gonna be recording because I need my phone to, to actually see um, what I'm gonna buy and whatnot since I have the list here. So let's head out. Collectibles right here, the window down. This, this place is actually getting a change in location. This was the main store, and it's moving apparently next door to a smaller spot, which I find kind of crazy because I actually liked this location. I don't really go to Fat Collectibles a whole lot only because they are kind of overpriced in some of their items, but you know, since they're changing locations and the owner told me that the rent is going down, they did mark down prices on a lot of their figures, like the, the Marvel Selects and all the DC collectible Batman figures are retailed at $19.99. But they have good prices on comics here. You know, I've gotten kicked out for recording in here, but we're gonna see how well we can do today. The owner's here. Look at those. 
This is the only three that I see that I want to get, but I probably can find them cheaper elsewhere. I do want to get this poster here, or this one over here. This one. That's cool. It's $9.99. Some of the figures here. It should be like a Star Wars comic store. Oh, look at that. So cool. The DC stuff. I need this guy for my minnow card and those stupid stickers. Queen. These are cool. It's Red Robin. That's pretty dope. Ten dollars for Bane. These are cool mugs. DC stuff. Statues. Oh, two Christmas cool. Sorry. That's pretty cool. Two faces. Oh, for my super high eyes. Nothing good.
I didn't even realize you're having a sale. Oh, this is cool. Some selects. All right, so this is going to be the end of the video. Tomorrow I'm going to swamp me. So if I upload this today, um, a swamp me video will be up Monday. I didn't do it the last time I told you I was I was going to do it because I got really busy. But I'm going to tell you guys what I picked up. You guys saw the three issues I was debating on getting. Um, everything was on sale, but fifty uh, percent. I didn't know there was a sale until I was about to walk out. Don't stop recording. Come on. All right, so I didn't know there was a sale until I was in a until it was in a walk out, and I asked the guy, "Was he guys having a sale today?" So fifty percent off back issues, twenty five percent off the comics on the wall, and uh, twenty five percent off of the uh, graphic novels. Now, they had comic books in shelves in there, like in glass cases, but he told me they sold them all because I'm looking for a Gambit issue. You guys saw? Um, oh, I didn't show you guys. I didn't record. I did I record it? But there's Wolverine issue number one. I do want that fifty dollars with the price. With the discount, it comes out to 40, but I can, I'm pretty sure I can find it somewhere cheaper. So I skipped on that. So I ended up getting these right here, which is Spider-Man number one. And um, I got Cletus Cassidy's first issue, AKA <clears throat> Carnage. So Spider-Man 344, the amazing Spider-Man 344, got that one right here. So these are the two issues that I picked up. I did want the Spider-Man one, though um, it was on the wall. And I wasn't gonna pass on them until I, I saw that there was a discount. Both of them came out to $25, which is not bad for both issues. Cause this one was 10 and this one was 25. So that's crazy that I basically paid for one for this one right here. So I got these two comics right here. These are the only ones that I picked up. Um, I didn't get anything from the list that I wanted except for this one. This is one that was on the list that I wanna get. Uh, in another video, I will show you guys what other comics that I'm gonna, that I'm planning on picking up because I didn't, like I said, I made a list and I need my vlog camera to show you in the, um, in the phone because that's where I am, have the list at. But a quick little video, guys. You guys saw Fat Collectibles. Doesn't have a lot of items anymore because the store is uh, moving apparently he doesn't know the guy the guy here that works here the, I, the owner was here i don't know where he went but they don't know where they're moving to uh so we'll see what happens this was the original main store this is the one here in anaheim uh video games here were 50 percent off so that's pretty cool but there was nothing that i wanted tomorrow we're going to swamp me to try to find some video games and some comics possibly action figures we'll see but that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick little hunt video for comics action figures too because i was looking at the action figures but nothing crazy nothing out of the order ordinary or rare or nothing that i wanted but you guys let me know what you guys think about this video there's more on the way i got to review the joke you guys will be seeing that too thanks for watching they're closing up right over here they're looking at me film see you guys later thanks for watching guys Peace.